and whipper will call. This episode is about Freud's American nephew, Edward Bernays. Bernays is almost completely unknown today, but his influence on the 20th century was nearly as great as his uncle's. Because Bernays was the first person to take Freud's ideas about human beings and use them to manipulate the masses. He showed American corporations for the first time how they could make people want things they didn't need by linking mass-produced goods to their unconscious desires. Out of this would come a new political idea of how to control the masses. By satisfying people's inner selfish desires, one made them happy and thus docile. It was the start of the all-consuming self which has come to dominate our world today. Bernays set out to experiment with the minds of the popular classes. His most dramatic experiment was to persuade women to smoke. At that time there was a taboo against women smoking and one of his early clients, George Hill, the president of the American Tobacco Corporation, asked Bernays to find a way of breaking it. A. A. Brill was one of the first psychoanalysts in America and for a large fee he told Bernays that cigarettes were a symbol of the penis and of male sexual power. He told Bernays that if he could find a way to connect cigarettes with the idea of challenging male power, then women would smoke, because then they would have their own penises. Every year, New York held an Easter Day parade to which thousands came, and Bernays decided to stage an event there. He persuaded a group of rich debutantes to hide cigarettes under their clothes. Then, they should join the parade, and at a given signal from him, they were to light up the cigarettes dramatically. Bernays then informed the press that he had heard that a group of suffragettes were preparing to protest by lighting up what they called torches of freedom. A symbol, women, young women, debutantes, smoking a cigarette in public, with a phrase that means anybody who believes in this kind of equality pretty much has to support them in the ensuing debate about this because torches of freedom. Every metaphor and analogy has to come from somewhere. Perhaps they are rare pearls that drop from the pens of an elite core of bards and scribblers and then are hoarded by a grateful populace. But given their prevalence in language, it seems more likely that they are the natural products of the way everyone's mind works. And so the next day, this was not just in all of the New York papers, it was across the United States and around the world. And from that point forward, uh, the sale of cigarettes to women began to rise. He had made them socially acceptable with a single symbolic